Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing uh, Banjo Tui. And uh, we need to get to ice side. I think whatever we want to be wanting to do at this point is in that side. So we'll do that. Oh, we're just kind of stuck here. So that's why there's two entrances to the Colosseum. All right, it all makes sense. Uh, Cow Cow, I think that Honey Bag is too powerful a heal. It is kind of ridiculous and it removes a lot of the challenges of the game. You should remove it. I disagree. I agree that it is a ridiculously powerful healing attack. But I feel like the presence of Honeyback is an acknowledgement of the game that difficulty is kind of not the point of this game. I mean, there are things, there are tasks that are hard, like, of course, but like struggling and dying and, you know, trying to survive, I don't know how you get there, is not the point. Uh, it's more about solving tasks and, you know, like navigation puzzles. How do you get in this state at this place to do this thing? And, uh, yeah, I mean, that is what I think of this game, honestly. I don't know, like, maybe you will not agree, and that is fine. But I'm going to agree with myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so what do we do? Let's talk. Oh, and here's a split path right here. But let's... There's that igloo we saw. Alright, you know what? I was like, let's talk to, uh... Wumba, but... The igloo's, like, right there. It's, a, like, a big set piece. Let's see what's up with that. Here we got a thing. We need a vanish cap to go through that ice. There's a railway. Okay. I mean, we... I don't know... Hmm. <laughs> Those are the sounds that I make. What's with these stairs? They're on the opposite side of the igloo, so they're probably not for that. But I saw these stairs, and I'm gonna climb these stairs. What are you gonna do about it? Uh, nothing. I am not gonna do anything about it. Okay, so this is here. So there is the cave with the squishy shoes. And here's like, okay, so we got like... It's like this big, like, mountainside of kind of car cleaves this place in twine. Oh, hey, here's, uh... I think these are the last notes I need for this place? Because that's ten notes. And that's... Martha, I know her name. Oh, I was wrong about her name! Mildred Ice Cube! Oh yeah, George is doing great. Taking swimming class. And he was whisked off into the sky! <laughs> so... Oh, I did find him. Oh, well, there's a Jinjo inside you, and I thought I'd hit you with a dragon. <laughs> what the hell, game? <laughs> what the hell? Why did you just let me do this? But also, no, it's not why do you just let me do that. You have to do this. You need to, you need to just commit cold-blooded murder on an ice cube to get a Jinjo, to get one-ninth of a hay. Hey, look at that. Full happy family here with their ice plant and their frozen honey. Yeah, it's not even for a Jiggy. It's for a portion of a Jiggy. It's ridiculous. Sit on your chair. Don't stand on it. No problem. Here's Bogey. Here's his cameo appearance. Take a look at... Yeah, you're watching Captain Underpants. Is that... No, that's something else. That's something else. It's Mr. Pants. That's what it is. Dolby. See, instead of Dolby, it's Dolby. It's pretty good. Scart rot sockets. I don't know what that is. Three remotes. Okay. It's got no online shopping! Ah, oh, man. Do you want burgers? I got so many burgers. Oh, here's a fish that I found yesterday. I just found it on the ground. Oh, you're choking. Hell yeah, I did it! And I heard a fart sound. Man, it's a good thing Bogey just happened to be around and uh, managed to eat all around the Jiggy. Also, you're huge now. Yeah. 
the static audio and just that animation on hold. Honestly, I would believe it if Adult Swim would just show that for like a half hour or something. Or a whole day if it was like April Fool. So you know what? Hey, it's the kids. They share this thing. And here's- Hey, it's the sled! That's right, it's a cameo of our favorite character from the first game. Hey, no problem. There's an igloo. That's your house in Freeze's Peak. You're balancing, but like, that's a bed. Oh. You're not jumping, though. You don't know what that means. And here's girl. She's nice. And here is the snowman from Frizzy Peak. Alright. This is just like a cool little place. What are my numbers? Like, what am I actually missing? F missing five. Okay. Can I... A thing with a transfer... Okay, so there's the oil derrick with the button on it. That's gonna lead to something. The dead alien, that's gonna lead to something. What else is there? Oh, I am experiencing the joy of playing Banjo Tazooie. What's that? Oh, it's another mumbo pad. So that's two mumbo pads. And it is pointing at this. Hey, buddy. Can I get like a weird puzzle piece you're holding out? I guess not. Man, Kazooie, you need to work on your fire. <laughs> and here is... Oh, this is where the... Yeah, you can see it's the vault. Alright, it's the vault where indeed Kazooie turned into a dragon. So, two mumbo pads in ice zone. Um... What else is there here? A ramp. I remember hearing a... Okay, this is the portal. Like, I remember hearing a globo around here. There's the alien next to the mumbo pad. I'm sensing a pattern. It's gonna be like defrost. Okay, that's something I can probably do something about. Really? How about blowing it up? Are you gonna be more responsive to that? All right then. I mean, that clearly looks like something. Maybe it's something an NPC can shatter. That has happened in the past. Frozen honey, fire. All right, getting Mumbo to do his Mumbo-y thing is not the worst idea. Didn't I not destroy this before? <laughs> And this points the words the house. I was sure I heard a globo around here that I never got. It. Oh, memories from playing this game. Isn't there not something on the shoreline here? Yeah, there's a grip grab. We're gripping! Okay. I don't know where this is gonna lead though. Well, I'm hearing boing boing, so... Is there not a pistachio? There you go. Yeah, 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 okay. Is there... Oh, there it is. Right here. You know what, I'm just gonna... Go. Here we go. I went. I got hurt instantly. Now I'm unhurt. So is there like an ice passage maybe? Oh... If it is defrost... Well, that doesn't make sense, cause like, yeah, like, so that means maybe he's gonna like, defrost that, and that does nothing. Did I s can I just go through here? It does not matter anymore. I have the ability to just kinda tank damage, and I like that. Here's the alien. Alright, so yeah, I think I'm gonna defrost the alien and defrost that man. So that gives me something to do. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, is there anything there on top of the wall? Oh my gosh, I'm on top of the wall. Unbelievable. So the grip grab is purely optional. 
doesn't really do much but to get up here, but okay, fair enough. Yeah, and Mumbo, all you gotta do is you go here, and you just kinda... They're connected. I don't know how they're connected. They are. Don't worry about it. It's not like through this... Yeah. Through this carpet. That's right, I'm pressing on. Okay, so you can skip the hello part, but here you must give magic, magic, magic. That part can't be skipped. Here you go, little guy says, ooh. Then we're gonna go and step on things. Beautiful. Were her indeed. I agree, Mumbo. And again, uh, no, wait. So we are gonna go in the tent with Mumbo. Going into forbidden territory! I thought he couldn't go in. Well, here doesn't- Oh, here there's like a whole cutscene about it. Why are you going here? Just, just get out. I'm gonna jump in your suit! <laughs> It's not much of a reaction. Uh, I want to throw the Globo at her, see if she reacts. But he cannot. Yeah, so increasingly I am finding that the reason the whole pad exists, it's to give platform-like sections to a character whose platforming is kind of, you know, not as overpowered as uh, Bearbird. Where do I go up? I don't know what is up with all these mountainous areas that I cannot feel or anything. Doesn't help that by default, the camera, they use the middle camera. The camera where you can't see anything around you. It's my favorite. <laughs> it is not. It is, okay, well, but here, there, you want something a little bit smaller, especially since, like, I'm not seeing, like, a shadow. So there's an alien right, right there. Are you gonna, like, face the alien? And, like, are you gonna be, like, confused? Oh, this works! Life Force! It's not... I guess that's kind of what defrosting is. So Mumbo, canonically, can return Life Force to a dead thing. You dead? Now undead. He can just... He can just do that. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely. Sounds great. It's like the rudest people in all the game. Oh, is that the shiny thing I couldn't break? Okay, okay. So there's child one. There's child two just like right there. <laughs> right behind you. And the other one is... invisible! Okay. Cool. I'm gonna hop right on that, uh, but I gotta do another bit of platforming on a weird platform. Where's the other, like... Okay, it's there. That's the ramp I need to be on. Okay, so over there. Got it. I'm learning my way around this place. It's not easy. Alright? At least that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's true. Ugh, okay. Ooh. Can you meet, uh, Boggy? Ooh, the frame rate kinda died there, but I don't know why. Hello, family! How's it going? You will not acknowledge me. Like, I'm pressing the acknowledge me button. Oh, there you are. That's a belly. <laughs> Alright. Sounds great. Wow, it is hard to talk to people with you. 
All right, I'm gonna go see your kids then. How about that? Hey, see, if he's a CRT, it's not even like... You know what? It's fine. Hello, small child! So I now think that that is a default thing that is put in place whenever you try to do anything with Mumbo. Like... It's an extremely generic phrase, right? It's just like, oh, I will only talk to Banjo or Kazooie. Everyone else, I hate. Maybe they just hate to mumbo, but they want to be polite. That's possible. God damn it. This keeps happening. Let's try this again. You can see where the video game water and the skybox water meet. It's not subtle, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, there we go. Here you go, Booker. Here we go. Saberman. Oh, you. Okay. You remember when I didn't play an arcade game as the intermission before this? Because I was like, I ran out of ape, ape adjacent games. I should have played Saberman. The, Saberman is like a super old game from uh, Rare. Many thanks you, sir. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984. The year of Rare. Yeah. The wolves are kings. Uh, all right. I guess this is a way to make sure that Banjo and or Kazooie get the reward. Can I get like, a weird thing? I'm warming using my magic taser! No, I'm as disappointed as you, Mamba. <laughs> Alright, let's meet that guy with uh, Banjo Kazooie, and then I'm gonna look for the kids, and I think that's gonna be it for today. Realistically speaking. After that, and tomorrow we'll transform and see what up with that. I mean, we have things that needs heavy thing, like there's a train button and there's a... There's a thing. He's so disappointed. He got to go out and be ignored by bears, and then it's like, alright, journey is over. Uh, yeah, so... we got things to do. So let's do it. Where's that ice particle? Right there. Whoa, well, check it out. There's gonna be a kid inside this little place. Drill through the ice! Yeah! Oh, god damn it. I have to revive it. I just. I just. You, so you just. Why do you do this? We literally did that, reviving a person to be able to get here. And then you transparently just make me do it again? We're gonna have to split off probably to put it at the spot too, so I guess I'm gonna do that now. I'm I'm a little annoyed. I'm gonna be real. This is not where you split up. I don't know where anything is. Is the other one gonna be dead? Hey you, are you alive? You are alive! You did like a sweet flip, and you got- Whoa, you got a Jinjo toy. Jinjos are from space. Yeah, they had a Jinjo in their saucer. See, this guy was just like, yo, check it out. Didn't need to make things complicated by like, dying and stuff. I'm not sure how to get to the third one, so I guess I'll just do the mumbo rigmarole. But I think I need to split up to put it at like, the space their dad was? But yeah, you're hanging out here. Maybe, no way! You said you can use powers to restore it back to life, right? I am going to call you out on that, but I do need a split. I need to remember where that is. Oh, you don't? Okay, so it's literally just go to Mumbo again. 
Great. Good. Hey, can you use your alien powers to get your kid back to life? They're literally just there. Unfortunately, yes. No, like, you, you have to do this to basically unlock the next step where you have to do this again. That's just baffling. Oh, this works! Life Force Alien Child! Like, especially after the dad literally said they could use their powers to revive the dead. Ugh. This is troubling. Ha! <laughs> that was fun. Oh my gosh, it's the Cable Man! Mumbo told me all about you. Here you go. <laughs> well, I'm being rewarded for cooking you up, so... Just told you we're a bit cold. Forty wings, a reference to forty wings. Wait, what? Why? Okay. I mean, sure. That's gonna be actually be super quick. It's just annoying because I have to split up, but the split up path is here. Then just reclimb here, get in the portal, and it's like really close, actually. It's, um. I'm gonna be real. You know, I, you, I could remember a lot of the game. Like, you know, that was obvious as we've played the game here. I forgot how busy worky a lot of it gets in in the end game. All right, just stuff this whole entire old man in this pack. Don't worry about it, because this is not difficult. It's not even a difficult route. It's just busy work. It's homework. You know, it's the we got half an hour to burn in class and. The teacher just needs to disconnect for a hot minute. Like, it's it's nowhere near Mumbo. Like, that's the entrance, right? Like, if you couldn't use the portal, I guess it would be a routing, routing challenge to this, but... There isn't. <laughs> Here you go, I guess. Hey, wanna burn up a little bit, old man, you know, for fun? For posterity? That's so weird! Uh, my tent! My equipment! Yeah, for 40 years, it all just kind of been hanging out. It's calcified. You may have it, kind sir. Well, that's convenient. And it's in the back. What's this? Oh, it's this pillow. It looks like a stone slab, which honestly... Oh, he's heading towards bed. Oh, he just slumped. Uh, that was cute. Honestly, that was pretty cute. Bears and their own... Ad I know, right? It's ridiculous. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch to Kazooie. I think I'm gonna go in the I like I think I remember the ledge where the kid was. Ooh, maybe upper area is close. But I think you can get to it from the icicle grotto is a thing. Like I'm gonna have to do the bad jumps. But from there, like you glide and you can get to where the kid was, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I might die here a couple of times. It it, it happens. Or I can do my sweet flying move, and it doesn't go high enough. I hate this so much. Uh, God, 
<laughs> Why, though? Alright, maybe upper area is not gonna kill me. I forget where that por It's in that place, the little cave place. But, like, I don't know if I can get high enough to get to, like, that high ledge thing. Because, yeah, like, because, like, the ice cave... Well, can you just die already? I do not have the patience for you. Would get me, like, way up there, which would then let me glide... Like, over to... somewhere. I never know where anything is. Point is, it gives me a lot more height, and I don't know if I can... Okay, you know what? A solution would be... What's over here? That's the other ice cave, probably. Uh, solution's probably to use the step shoes and get real high up. That would work. Like, if my goal is to go high up, then go high up. Do I know where the oil there is? Because we saw that. Like, it's over here, right? I hope that she has a reasonable, like, drawn distance. What's this? I mean, it's... It's iced in. <laughs> Didn't realize I was that close. There! Okay, drawing is just like barely good enough, but good enough is good enough. Hey, respond to me. I am bird, dragon. Alright, I'll warm you up! I I said pressing the attack button, which is the same as the interaction button. There you go, I'm gonna... Whoa! Really? 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 Okay. Cool. Let's do a little bit of that then. Let's do... What? Oh, am I supposed to hatch you? That that's a way to warm up. <laughs> it did the thing sound <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. I'm not sure how that would warm anyone. Whoa, you can just teleport. Fantastic. Hey, look at that. The whole family is gathered up. UFO still exists. And I have done well. Honestly, that's fair. I love how he's not willing to destroy the planet from the saucer. <laughs> it would be a lot safer to destroy it. Bye, aliens. Where am I? Where? Okay, so that's here. So cool having like a aerial view of everything. Yeah, they were around the tent, so yeah, that's the site we're gonna have to go at. Well, more than I am at. Man, drawing this in sandwich was a little bigger for like important object. Like, the way that Mario 64, the draw distance for, like, red coins is, like, infinity, basically. I feel like very important objects should kind of have that consideration. This is not where you need to go. It's over there. I keep mixing those two up. That's not the game's fault. Uh, that is a me thing. 
There we go. Wow, your long, your high jump is high though. And here we go. We are here. Stuff happened today. Oh, I feel like the game got me a little grumpy, but like it's just some of the filler is incredibly transparent, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> 